I am the devil, and I am here to do the devil's work. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Reject Films. Back with another unboxing and menu screen video for you guys. Just got this in the mail uh, like a day ago, I think. Um, this is from Diabolic DVD, Jesse Nelson. Um, this came all the way from New Jersey, so I've already like disinfected the whole thing with spray and all that just to, you know, can't be too safe. But, uh, man, I can't wait till I can get back to doing videos without doing all this shit, but hopefully soon enough, you know. Um, so they do have it packaged. It's probably a box inside a box. As you guys know by the thumbnail, obviously, this is for, um, shit. <laughs> this is for shit. Uh, beyond the door. Um, I do have one other thing in here, I do believe. I should have, like, pre-opened this, probably. But, uh, I got the old trusty knife here, see if that works. And they really don't mess around with their packaging, huh? But you do have a box inside a box, like I thought. Um, yeah, so, yeah, hope everybody's doing well, and, uh, you know, for those not working or what have you, hope you're not going crazy, not being able to really do anything. Um, I actually wanted to work today on my day off, because <laughs> just nothing else to do, so, uh, just for a little bit, just to get some things done, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty sad when your only option is to go to work or sit at home. So nothing's open, man. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, this is sold out again um, on Diabolic. They had nine left when I ordered this one. Uh, Run on Flicks sold out. I had a pre-order in, and then it got, like, wasn't there anymore. So, uh yeah, so really happy to grab this. I don't really know much about this, but um, before I get into these more, let's uh, get the gloves off and uh, wash up and come back and show you guys all the goods on the inside and everything. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know why this release uh, became so popular. Like, I, you couldn't even get the pre-order in, like I said, from Diabolic, you, or I mean from uh, Run on Flicks. I sold out the pre-order and uh, I saw on a Facebook group that Diabolic had a few copies, so I uh, logged in there. They had nine at that time. Checked the next day they were gone. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's clean up and uh, come back with the magic of editing. All right, and just like that, we're back. All right, uh, not that it's anything special, but, you know, everybody edits shit nowadays. It's pretty simple. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, forget what I was even talking about before. So yeah, I, I didn't know uh, too much about this movie until I saw it coming out and then, you know, I was gonna maybe order it anyways because I just love the Arrow hard box editions, which I do have a few of those coming in from the Arrow UK sale, the Easter sale they are having at this time anyway. That goes on to like the 22nd, I think. Uh, so I did place an order with them. Shipping's, wow, shipping's crazy, but um, and they only have one option for the shipping with tracking thing. So, yeah. Uh, but I did watch some trailers to it before I ordered it. And it actually looks really, really good. It looks like an Exorcist type movie. Uh, don't know how I haven't, you know, seen this one before. It looks definitely right at my alley. So, I mean, I haven't done a mini screen one for a while. Here is the uh, outer box. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Here's the back. We'll go through all this. Uh, here soon. Let's go ahead and get the uh, shrink wrap off this, which I did pre-cut a little bit. I don't like when they tape the J card to it, though. Kind of um, hard to get off that way, but it's taped on both sides. I'm sure there's some cool art on the back. I think there is back art, but I think I will leave the J card on so I don't damage the box. Um, I mean, it's not going anywhere. It'll go on the shelf just fine like that. So, uh, If you guys want to see what the back looks like, I'm sure there's plenty of images online. Um, trying to give you guys what you can't find online, except for right here, hopefully. 
don't know, maybe some other YouTubers have done miniature screens, I, I don't know. Um, so you got a booklet, a poster, and of course the standard uh, Blu-ray here. And here is your insides. You have a nice tray, they're not stacked like they did with the uh, Star Wars. Actually, there's only two, so... Um, so you have the uncut English export version and the U.S. theatrical version. Uh, you do have some reverse art, which I'm sure I will turn around because the art is the same as the outer box there. And you got cards just falling out everywhere. This is the one, I think, kind of like the Code Red or Scorpion... Uh, can't remember which uh, company but, uh, the one on Ronin Flux had before the Arrow version. It's kind of like that art. I don't think it's exactly the same, but it's similar. <clears throat> Try to get that in there as good as I can. Anyway, all right, so. Uh, Beyond this door, the most terrifying event in the history of mankind is about to occur. Evil grows beyond the door. Cool, cool. Um, get that disc back in there. So they are both uh, Blu-rays, I do believe. Blu-ray, Blu-ray, yeah. So two different Blu-rays. Uh, you do have the art card here, or the uh, advertisement card for American Werewolf in London. I do want to get this box set. Uh, eventually, I just haven't grabbed it for whatever reason. Not a, a big a fan of that movie as a lot of people, but it is pretty good. Um, so I'll eventually pick it up. Uh, these are not in English. But, uh, some pretty cool art, uh, art cards here. Or, uh, we call them lobby cards. This is more like, definitely lobby card style with the black and white. They're all the same on the back. They just have the uh, picture of the reverse art. And the last one here. That's pretty cool. Um, it's just a nice added touch. You, you never really do anything with them. I guess you could buy like a frame and put them all together in a frame. Or whatever you want to do. Mine will just sit in here. <clears throat> All right, so let's go over the features before we get into the rest of the stuff here. All right, uh, limited edition two disc Blu ray contents, limited to 3,000 units, brand new 2K restoration of the extended uncut English export version. Exclusive bonus disc containing an alternate U.S. theatrical version, a brand new feature-length documentary, Italy Possessed, a brief history of exorcist ripoffs, reversible sleeve featuring uh, original and newly commissioned artwork by Mark uh, Schoenbeck, six collector's postcards, reversible fold-out poster, uh, perfect bound collector's uh, booklet featuring new writing on the film by John Martin and Alyssa Di Rocco. Uh, disc 1, the uncut English export version, brand new 2K restoration, uh, released as The Devil Within Her, runs 108 minutes, high definition Blu-ray, 1080p, original uncompressed mono audio, optional English subtitles, uh, and uh, archival audio commentary with director-producer uh, Video G. Santius, uh, I, man, and Euro uh, horror historian Nathaniel Thompson. Moderated by Lee Christian. Archival audio commentary with star Juliet Mills and filmmaker Scott Spiegel. Moderated by film scholar Darren Gross and Lee Christian. Archival production with Juliet Mills and Lee Christian. The Devil Made Me, a newly filmed interview with uh, director-producer Video... I'm just going to leave it at that because his last name is impossible to pronounce. Uh, Barrett's Hall, a newly filmed interview with uh, writer-cinematographer Robert D... Hero, uh, Piazzolla, Beyond the Music, a newly filmed interview with composer Frank, uh, Mecca Lizzie, 
The Devil's Face, a newly filmed interview with camera operator uh, Mar Marizio Maggie. Motels and Devils, a newly conducted audio interview with actor Gabriel Levaya. Beyond the Door, 35 years later, archival featurette featuring interviews with uh, the director, with Juliet Mills, Richard Johnson, and writer Alex Rebar. Richard Johnson, an Englishman in Italy, archival featurette. Alternate opening titles, trailers, TV spots, and radio spots in this gallery. So tons of stuff on the English uh, export version. Uh, now the theatrical one is limited, is only in this limited edition. It's exclusive to this set. So once it becomes just the standard Blu-ray, you will not have that option. Uh, of course, the brand new 2K restoration uh, released as Beyond the Door, running 98 minutes. So you got 98 compared to 108. All right, yeah, 108, 98. So you got 10 minutes longer in the uh, export version. High definition Blu-ray 1080p, original uncompressed mono audio, uh, optional subtitles. Uh, the only features on there, you get uh, Italy Possessed, a brief history of Exorcist ripoffs, brand new feature-length uh, documentary including interviews with key filmmakers such as Sergio Martino, Alberto Di Martino, uh, Poopy, uh, Poopy, Puppy, Avati, uh, Marcelo Avalone, and uh, the director of, of this here. And uh, many more. Uh, Gabriel Lavaya, Bargain with the Devil, an archival interview with Beyond the Door actor. Extended interview with star Juliet Mills. So it sounds like you get the same, um, the Italy Possessed one on both here. Which is kind of weird. I mean, that disc is exclusive to this set, and you're going to put the same feature on there. Maybe it's different. I don't know. So anyway, stacked full of special features. I know it's hard to read with the glare. Um, if you guys wanted to look at them again. And here is your nice, pretty thick uh, booklet here. Of course, you're going to have all kinds of images. Of course, definitely there's some, you know, exorcist-style uh, scenes. Um, I love, uh, religious, uh, horror, so, um, definitely, like I said, right up my alley. So it's this, uh, Italian exorcist, I suppose, but yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty damn thick. Let's see. Oh, can't show that. So apparently there is some nudity in here. Um, which I'm fine with. I can I can I can live with that I guess. Um, after all that vinegar syndrome sleaze I've gotten. Alright, so you do have the double sided poster. I'm gonna guess it's the two artworks that we've already seen, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. No. Dunno. Yeah, it is. So there is the uh, artwork there. There's your reverse art. I think uh, if I was to hang it up, I'd probably go with this one, though, because it's a little more classy than just her puking. <laughs> oh. I think the only other one I hung up was the one from uh, Hills Have Eyes. I don't remember what size they are. I know they're not 14 by 28 like the... Um, I don't know why I thought that went in there. Uh, Screen Factory ones or. Is that what those are? Something like that. 18 by 24 is what the Screen Factory ones are. I think these are uh, like 14 by 20 or something. Um, so, yeah, that's all that's in the box there. It's a nice hard box. Um, yeah, I, I think I'll leave that taped. So if you want to see the back image, definitely uh, Google it or something, because I just I don't want to damage the box. But, uh, Anyway, let's put these two things back in there, get the disc out, so we can go over to the uh, TV here. I'll show you guys the menu screen. I don't know, I'm, I'm torn between trying to get that off or not. What do you guys think? Yay, nay. 
drop a comment in the comment section. What do you, what do you guys think? Uh, you think I'm okay with taking that off there? You think it'll peel off okay? Or um, I, I know I took it off the um, Scarlet box and it left a, a little bit of a mark. Where'd it go? Uh, I, I think, it, it, anyways. Uh, let's see. Do you remember that being taped on there? I think that's the only one I had it taped on though. It's a little dusty. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it left a little bit up in here is where it was taped. Not too bad. It, it may come off okay. I'll put that back here in a second. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go over to the TV on the other side of the room here and uh, dive into this thing. All right, see you guys over there. Oh yeah, hey, before we go over there, I'll go ahead and show you the other thing that came in the box with this here. I'm not gonna open it or anything, but uh, just in case you guys were curious, I completely spaced it because yeah, I'm me. I did pick up the slipcover edition of Scared Stiff, the Diabolic uh, exclusive. It does have like a fold to it on the back here. Let me know if that's uh, normal or not the way that the slip was made. I know it's kind of like a a thin slip and just kind of like I said made exclusively for Diabolic so I don't know if that's just where it's glued or whatever. So if you guys have this let me know if that's normal. Um, if not then I'll contact them and let them know. Uh, not a huge deal but uh, you know I'd like to know. I don't know what the features are or anything because I haven't opened it yet. There's the back um, Trying not to open a lot of stuff until I actually watch it, especially stuff like this or um, the hard box stuff. But I really do want to watch this. So if you guys want a review of this film, definitely let me know. And uh, I'll try to get a watch before the next update and uh, throw a review in there for it as well. Um, yeah. And let me know what you guys think of this movie. But yeah, and this, Scared Stiff. If you guys have seen this, let me know. Sounds like it's okay, maybe. Huh. All right, now we're going to head over to the fucking TV because uh, I just keep babbling. I don't know. All right, see you over there. All right, guys, we're over at the menu screen. Got to work around the really weird nudity in the menu screen. i um, sure what's going on there. I have to watch the movie and find out. But uh, got some groovy little uh, music in the background there. Nice animated menu. Um Pretty much uh, the same features I went over with you guys already. So you have a uh, play, play with introduction by Juliet Mills and Lee Christian, special features, uh, The Devil and Me, which was the uh, interview with director. You have uh, Barrett's Hell, which was an interview with a, a cinematographer and co-writer. Beyond the Music, an interview with the composer. And <laughs> I had to skip that scene. Um, the Devil's Face, interview with the camera operator. I just gave up trying to pronounce names, so. Um, Motels and Devils, interview with uh, actor um, Gabriel Levia. Beyond the Door 35 Years Later, the uh, archival featurette with the interviews with the director and uh, actors and everything, co-writer. Richard Johnson, uh, archival interview with the Beyond the Door star on <coughs> his work in the Italian film. Your trailers, TV and radio spots. Your alternate uh, opening, uh, so you have an Italian opening titles. Uh, the Australian uh, opening and closing titles, Japanese closing titles. Your image gallery, your commentary with the uh, director and producer. Your commentary with Juliet Mills. And that's it for the features. So a lot, a lot of features on here. Uh, you have your audio setup. You have the English mono. Audio commentary with the director. Audio commentary with uh, Juliet Mills. And your subtitle setup, English uh, only option. 
So yeah, that's uh, the first disc, the uh, export one with all the features on it. So let's uh, pop in the other disc and show you what's on there. All right, guys, get this thing to load up here. Um, yeah, not, not really sure what's going on with the one scene in the uh, background there, but uh, it's like a man or a woman or both or something. I'm not really sure. It's like a woman's body with a man's face or... I don't know, again, I haven't seen the movie, so you guys probably already know what I'm talking about if uh, you have. It's your nice uh, arrow opening like you normally do. And I didn't show that on the last one because I wanted to skim through the features first. But yeah, um, just probably the same background. Yep. So yeah, play film. Uh, your feet. <laughs> keep pausing for that one. Uh, Italy Possessed, a brief history of the Exorcist ripoff. I guess that wasn't on the first one. I thought it said it on the back. Uh, I guess I was mistaken. Which, of course, is the uh, feature-length document <coughs> documentary on uh, the history of Italian Exorcist ripoffs, including interviews with key filmmakers, uh, you know, Martino and Martino, and Avati and Avalone, and the director of this. Again, I gave up trying to say most names, so. Uh, Gabriel Levaya, Bargaining with the Devil. The uh, archival interview with the star. Extended interview with Juliet Mills. Uh, deleted footage from an archival interview with, uh, with that actor, actress. Man, I'm getting tired of having to stop when that scene comes up. I don't want to get flagged or anything, you know. Uh, subtitles, just the English again on here. So, I mean, between both discs, you got tons and tons of features. And I'm really happy with this purchase, even without watching the film. So, if you guys have seen this movie again, let me know what you think of it. And all that good stuff. And, again, guys, if there's anything else you want me to do this menu screen unboxing on, definitely drop it in the comments, let me know. And if it's something I have, I'll, I'll definitely try to get to it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace, love, happiness to everyone, and uh, bye.